This video is a little bit different to the ones I usually shoot and the ones that people have gotten used to over the years from the charity. Um, this was actually to tell the story or tell a specific story to uh, the people we work with the most, the, lo the local authorities, um, the schools, uh, the businesses and the young people. Um, and in trying to get that message out there, it really felt like something that we should talk about uh, more publicly. So it's a bit more rounded out of a message than I expected it to be. Um, the last school year uh, has been really hard for me in particular. Um, particularly the, the back half. Uh, I've been busier than I've been for a long time with the things I've got going on outside of the charity. Um, I've also uh, probably had the toughest working year, the toughest year of my career uh, this year and um, that's affected me quite a bit and it's something that I've just opened up about to all of the uh, directors and trustees we've got in the charity. Um, it took me a while to open up about it, uh, I didn't really want to. Um, and to be honest, the thing I was really working with was uh, was I was planning to put the charity on hiatus for a year, starting in uh, September when the school year starts again. Um, that was the plan, to, to, to take a step away from it, um, let the chips fall where they fall, allow me to continue with other things, uh, and hopefully feel a little bit better. Um, but that, that didn't really happen. Uh, and what happened was I ended up seeing, weirdly, whether it's fate or whatever, I'm not a particular believer in that, but all of a sudden I'm seeing young people that we've worked with in the community. And that got me thinking about where some of the others were. So I went back looking through uh, some of the files that I've got saved, and I remember the first talk I ever gave was to a group of, um, a group of students at a special educational school. Uh, and it was in 2013. Uh, it was my first speech in front of young people ever, um, really. I was really nervous. I even took a pen and a bit of paper to make sure I was getting it right. I ate like 10 coffees beforehand. I really blew it out of proportion. Um, and after I'd given that talk, each one of those young people wrote me a letter um, and sent them to me. I remember sharing them with Sam and a couple other guys. Uh, they were all anonymous letters but they were fantastic and there was one that stood out um, and I read that letter the other day and I shared that with the directors and the trustees of the charity uh, and I just realised that it's just not the right thing to do to take a hiatus um, what the right thing to do is is to communicate with everyone um, in terms of uh, in terms of why our outcomes haven't been very good in the last six months of the, or last half of the school year. Um, what I'm struggling with, uh, both in terms of what I've got going on and in terms of time pressures. Um, because it, we, grow so, we grew so quick. There was a couple of year period where all of a sudden we had lots of groups. The last two years, definitely. Lots of people asking for time. Um, but lots of cancellations, lots of rearrangements, um, and those things happen. That's that's part of what's going on. Uh, but we're trying to book a lot of visits, trying to get a lot of businesses engaged, um, and it was just tough, and we just didn't deliver. And, and I was finding it really, really hard to carry that. Um, August is my planning month every year, and I'm going to plan much better how we can do and deliver what we're trying to deliver. It might not be as many visits, it might be a much smaller, more isolated group of visits for the time being. Um, uh, and maybe we can expand that back out again. Um, I really think that our sweet spot is in the, uh, the inspiration and the aspiration that we can give to young people. I think, especially in terms of uh, idea creation, opportunity, um, I think we can do some really, really powerful stuff uh, for uh, young women um, who uh, we feel that there's a lot of role models that they can look up to but probably aren't getting the the, um, the airtime uh, you know in front of those young uh, young women I think we can bring that together um, 
that's why I asked Alexa to join and why uh, why that happened and, and we just haven't done a great job of that. Um, so it's a bit of a weird feeling actually. I feel refreshed and um, a little like a failure at the same time. Um, but I understand that and, and we're nothing if we're not passing this information on that it's okay to talk about these things. Young people, it's okay to talk about these things. It's okay to feel a certain way and when you do feel that way, over communication is often a good thing and you'd be surprised how many good people are around you. Um, in the last uh, seven days or more, I, I've uh, a couple of great things have happened. It all stemmed from one uh, meeting that I had um, last week. Uh, could have been Wednesday, can't remember the day. And that spurred everything. On the walk from that meeting, I sent the emails to the directors. Um, of making something happen, uh, the communication started and all of a sudden I felt a whole lot better. So I really feel refreshed um, and I can't wait to take it on. I really want to apologise to everyone as well. Um, I'm capable of much better, we're capable of much better, um, but it's been tough. So I'm sorry for everyone that hasn't got uh, the things that they wanted to get and I apologise to the local authorities and the schools that we work with, people who maybe you've, um, have got in touch and haven't responded quickly enough. Uh, I, I really, really feel like I've done you a disservice and I owe you for that, but I hope you can understand. Um, equally, uh, I'm sorry to the young people that want to access this service because this service is for you. I mentioned yesterday to someone that this isn't a service that we've created um, to sell to local authorities and schools. This is free we just go through the local authorities and schools and work in partnership with those people to get to the young people because this is a service for them um, and that's why we're going to focus I think more on our content creation um, on our live speaking um, on experiences rather than a real long program of visits um, I think they have fantastic educational value and we can support local authorities in in doing those things but in terms of arranging them it might have to change a little bit. When we're the people that are doing the full arrangement, it's just too much um, when we get to scale. And we can't scale otherwise. And, and what we're doing is great. I feel it. But we need to, do, need to do it differently in order to reach scale, in order to affect the amount of lives that we want to affect. Um, and this is what I want to do. So you've probably noticed me and the charity have been very quiet on social media. Um, this is the watershed moment for it to kind of go back to normal. Um, thank you everyone that supported us over the years, I really appreciate it. Um, thanks to everyone for being patient uh, with what we've done and a special thank you to the people I've mentioned there, the one person who will remain nameless uh, that I met last week that was the catalyst for all of this and then certainly to all of the directors and trustees of making something happen. Uh, for the unbelievable kind words that you've um, you've shared on email with me uh, and a little bit on social media, um, I was absolutely stunned by the whole thing. Uh, I was in tears reading everyone's emails because they'd all come through together, um, and it, it's amazing to know that I've got such great people with me. So, thank you very much. I'm looking forward to the 1920 school year being hopefully our best yet.